In his report on the Western Ghats, Professor Madhav Gadgil categorized the entire Western Ghats as eco-sensitive zone. That means you cannot touch it. No mining, no construction, no cutting and chopping, no farming, nothing. But this created huge outrage against Gadgil. He was criticized for being against the development of the country. Everybody, right from the government, bureaucrats, miners, farmers, builders, everybody criticized Gadgil. But in reply, Gadgil said he's a scientist and not a politician and he will have to say some unpleasant truths even though people might not like it. He said any sort of development has to be sustainable and hand in hand with nature. Nobody listened to Gadgil and finally Kasturi Rangan report was finally accepted. Kasturi Rangan report reduced the eco-sensitive zone from 100% to 37%. I do not know the rationale behind that. This report was then forwarded to the different governments of the state and as usual, the government agencies diluted this report further to entertain the whims and fancies of the different stakeholders. Finally, this report was sent to the central government for approval. The central government might approve it, but do you think Mother Nature will approve it? If you disturb nature, she knows only one way to react. And unfortunately, Kerala has been at the receiving end of this unforgiving avatar of Mother Nature every year since 2018. And now, we are in 2024 and we look perplexed at the landslide in Vainad. Did we have economic development? I don't know. Maybe we did. But at what cost? At the cost of lives of people. How many more lives do we need to sacrifice? Nobody knows.